February's episode of How's the Market with One and Company. We'll be talking about the market here in February 2020. I'm Byron Lazine. And I'm Nicole White. I'm going to be talking about single family home sales and Nicole is going to tell you about condominium sales. For single family homes in Connecticut for February, there was an 8.94 decrease in active listings. The number of sales across the state increased by 3%. The average days to sell remained flat, and the average sale price increased by 7.5%, up to $338,000 for February 2020. As for condos across the state of Connecticut, we saw inventory went down by 6.9% compared to February of 2019, but the number of sales increased by 8.61%. The average days to sell was very similar year to year, though, with a decrease of about 1%. The average sales price increased by over 13%, up to about $213,000 for condos in February 2020. Now, the highest sale for condos in February was $3.2 million for 680 Steamboat Road Unit 3 in Greenwich. And the highest single family sale we had in February was at 38 Dairy Road in Greenwich, Connecticut for just over $5.5 million. Now that's a look at the entire state of Connecticut. Now to the three counties of our primary focus. Up first, New London County. Hi, I'm Lee Bohr. And I'm Nikki Short, and we're gonna tell you about February 2020 market stats for New London County. Starting off with single family homes, active listings would saw a 13% decrease, so inventory is low. And February saw a decrease in sales down from 14% from last year. The average days on market right now are 95 days, and we had an 11% increase in sales price and an average, an overall county average of 258,000. As for condos across New London County, we saw a small increase in active listings from last year. Number of sales also increased by 16%. The average days to sell climbed 4% to 76 days, but the average sales price shot up 24%. The highest selling condo for this month was at 45 Hope Street, Unit 4 in East Line for $448,000. And the highest single family home sale was at 218 Old Black Point Road in East Lime, and that was for $1.15 million. That's a look at February stats for New London County. Next up is Middlesex County. I'm Lucy. And I'm Chaz. And we're going to um, tell you about February stats for Middlesex County. For single-family homes in Middlesex, the trend of low inventory continued with a 5.36 decrease in active listings and number of sales went up by 25%. The average days to sell increased by less than 1% and the average sale price increased by 12%, bringing the average price up to $342,000. As for condos across Middlesex, inventory went down by over 22% compared to February of 2019, but the number of sales also decreased in Middlesex by 38.46% in February 2020. The average days also saw a decrease, 29.63%, and even with less inventory and fewer sales, the average sale price saw a huge increase of 72%, up to $259,283. And the highest condo sale was for $665,000 at 3 Bell Haven, Unit 3 in Cromwell. And the highest sale for a single family home was at 25 Petty Park Avenue in Old Saybrook, and it was for $3 million. Now over to the stats for New Haven County. I'm Heidi. And I'm Meredith. We'll be discussing February 2020 statistics for New Haven County. For single family homes in New Haven County, there was a decrease of almost 12% in active listings. The number of sales also decreased by less than half a percent. The average days to sell also saw a decrease in February by 14%. However, the average sale price increased by almost half a percent to $245,000. As for condos across New Haven County, we saw a 13% decrease in active listings, but the number of sales increased by almost 31%. Days on market remained the same, and the average sale price increased over 7% to $160,000. The highest condo sale was $689,000 at 66 High Street, Unit 8 in Guilford. And the highest sale in February for single-family homes was for 442 Tempe Drive in Southbury for $1.1 million. If you're curious to learn more, give us a call or click the link. Join us next month on How's the Market to find out if these trends continue.